Dear colleagues, this is a one-eyed patient. I've taken up this case for surgery under topical anesthesia because I don't want to subject the patient of the risks of perivulvar anesthesia. So I have taken up this case for surgery under topical anesthesia. And now the case has been started or the main incision and both the side boards have been made. Now I'm going to stain the capsule with triban blue dye so that I can demonstrate capsular axis very clearly. This is triban blue dye 0.06 percent. Now the dye is washed out after a few seconds. So after washing the dye, I'm going to use a viscoelastic substance, ophthalmic viscoelastic substance. It is HPMC. Here goes the viscoelastic substance. It fills up the entry chamber. And now I am incising the capsule with 26 case bent cystidome, holding this flap with a uterator forceps going anticlockwise and performing this continuous covilinear capsular axis. I taint the anterior leaf of the main incision so that leakage of viscoelastic substance become becomes minimal. Now this is hydro dissection. Doing hydro dissection Now the nucleus is depressed and it is rotated. Viscoelastic substance is injected again. And now is the time to enter into the eye with the FACO handpiece. This is Oatly Catarx 3 FACO machine. This is a marvelous, very clever design of FACO TIFF. This is called Easy TIFF. Here it is. The nucleus has been chopped. Hold the nucleus firmly and chop it. Now I'm rotating the nucleus and I am making another chop here. So both the heminuclei are further divided into smaller parts. And now each nuclear fragment is emulsified by ultrasonic energy and it is removed. In this case, FACO energy was ultrasonic energy was 70%. Flow rate was 45 ml per minute and vacuum was 450 millimeter of mercury. I was in FACO 2 mode from the very beginning and the FACO power is in continuous mode. That's it. Now cortical cleanup is to be done. The cortical lens matter is to be aspirated. I'm using a 23 gauge direct Simco cannula for removing this cortical matter. You can use bimanual irrigation aspiration device or equaxial irrigation aspiration device. This is a very thin 
23 gives Simco cannula, it goes to the side ports, 1.5 millimeter side ports. Now viscoelastic substance is injected into the entire chamber and now a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. And now we have to remove this viscoelastic substance that has been used for implantation of this lens matter. And now I'm using first the Simco cannula. I'm just flushing for some time. Irrigation is one as well as I am flushing. So I'm flushing the viscoelastic substance out of the entry chamber. It comes to the main incision. I'm going behind the intraocular lens and flushing the capsular bag just by flushing a lot of viscoelastic substance come out almost 80% of visco comes out and now I will use the irrigating probe of bimanual IA here it is and then both the irrigation and aspiration together and thus I have been able to place the intraocular lens I have been able to remove all the viscoelastic substance now pilocarpine as well as moxifloxacin has been injected into the entire chamber and now I'm hydrating these side ports so that these side ports become waterproof. That's it. The case is over. I just have to give this final wash. Here is the final wash with BSS. The case is over. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. This is a one-eyed patient. I didn't use a multi-piece intraocular lens to avoid haptic-related complications. Thank you very much for your attention.